In this video, I tried beating Terraria, but here's the twist. I am able to kill enemies in a single hit, however, the spawn rate is jacked up all the way to 100. That's not all, I only have a single point of health which means a hit from any enemy, whether it be from a slime or zombie, will instantly kill me. So the question is, will I be able to make it all the way to fight against Moonlord, or will the insane spawn rate overwhelm me? Stay tuned to find out. Alright, so usually I would start the video off while in the world, but because of the increased spawn rate, I know that once I enter, hundreds of monsters are going to start flooding in. So here's the plan. I'm going to instantly chop down a single tree for wood, build a little barricade to keep myself safe, and then pretty much go on from there. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go, go, go. Oh, I hear things getting killed already. Pick it up. Okay. Let's start building. Perfect. And here comes the slimes. I think I'm gonna dig one block deep so that I can start killing the monsters. Start farming them. Just like this. Beautiful. Now because there are just so many slimes spawning, there's a pretty good chance that I'll be able to get the slime staff. Once I get the slime staff, that'll help clear out the monsters a lot better than just having the copper short sword. And I can pretty much just stay inside this box safe and sound while my summon kills the monsters. I'm also going to just build a little passageway to collect my loot safely. It is almost the end of the day. Still no slime staff. And it is officially nighttime, which means I'll have to wait until the next day to start killing slimes again. I think this is enough killing for now. Let's start mining down for some ores and accessories. Oh my god, they can fall through. Welp. Oh, get me in. Oh no, this is bad. Oh god. Okay, I need to um, build a barricade over that. Okay, we're good. Now I won't get spawn killed anymore. But just like that, that marks my first few deaths. There's even so many slimes underground. Okay, it is officially the next day. So let's get back on task of trying to get the slime staff. Oh my god, there it is. Okay. Wait, it's kind of crazy that I got mythical on it too. Things are going to get pretty interesting now. Alright, let's test this slime staff out. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, look at it go. Okay, slowly but surely, we're making it down. Oh my god, these worms are so annoying. And I'm dead. Right, I remember, I only have one health. Okay, so I did manage to get a hook from Piranhas. Which means I will be making the grappling hook. Now, I'm definitely going to need a better melee weapon that can protect myself, especially against those worms underground. And the only weapon I can think of is the mace. I would have gone for the Ballo Hurt, but since this is a crimson world, that's just not possible. So hopefully I can find that weapon soon inside a gold chest. There's just... There's just so many worms, like come on. Okay, I see a house on the top right over there. I really hope that's the mace. There's also a bunch of emeralds over here. So I will be upgrading my grappling hook. Oh, there's two chests. Okay. And the skeleton merchant. So I'll be replacing the grappling hook with the em- Oh, never mind. I thought that was emeralds, but they're diamonds. Okay, first gold chest. Lucky band of regeneration. That's completely useless. There is a gravitation potion though. Okay, now what are you selling? The umbrella. Um, Let's buy the red counterweight, just in case if I do get myself a yo-yo, as well as a bunch of bombs. All right, that's a thousand bombs. And might as well just buy some more rope, as well as Splunker glow sticks. Oh! The chain knife! 
Give me that. Okay. Got a weapon that actually has some range to it now. And inside this gold chest. Oh, the magic mirror. Okay, I'm going to put on hold finding the mace for now. It is night once again, so I'm going to collect some fallen stars to raise my max mana a bit to be able to somewhat spam the slime staff. Okay, never mind. It just turned back to day. But I might as well keep on exploring the surface just because it's a little bit less rowdy. Why are there so many balloon slimes? Oh my god, that was scary. Yeah, I don't think I can make it past this point. Alright, let's try to explore the other side then. Okay, I feel like I'm making no progress at all. Let's get back on task of trying to find the mace. But before that, let's craft the diamond hook. As well as the platinum pickaxe, just to speed up mining. Alright, I see another chest. Just gotta make it pass through these monsters. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, there's a yo-yo over there too. Let's check this out first. Oh, there's the mace. Beautiful, okay. Now this weapon should help me survive a lot better. Oh yeah, there we go. This weapon pretty much just acts like a barrier around me. But there is always that small chance that an enemy can get through that barrier and attack me. So, have to be careful. Just like that. Especially with projectiles. I cannot block those. And I might as well just turn this mace into the flaming mace. Just for some light. Ooh. Mining shirt. That's going to increase our mining speed by 10%. How in the world did that happen? <laughs> Ooh, I do see mining pants down there. So that's going to complete our mining armor set. Alright, there we go. Armor set effect. Another 10% increased mining speed. Alright, I finally made it down to hell. That took so long. And I just realized the fire imps are going to be so annoying. Oh, Abigail's flower. Hold up. Would this be considered better than the slime staff? Well, it's definitely way more consistent at dealing damage. I guess I'll use Abigail for now. Okay, I should be good to explore the night now. I can literally just run through them all. Okay, I made it to the jungle. So far, so good. Okay, I found myself a radar. Let's see just how many monsters are around me. 187. That's insane. Okay, well, here's the crimson. Let's see if I can make myself all the way to a crimson altar so that I can craft myself the suspicious looking eye to summon the Eye of Cthulhu. Okay, there's one down there. Let's try to block myself off. Okay, we're good. Let's just make a lot of them, because I have a hundred lenses. And I'm dead. Yep. As soon as I heard that sound, I knew I was dead. No biggie though, I managed to craft 11. Now, all I have to do is wait until nighttime to summon the Eye of Cthulhu. Let's also build some NPC houses. Alright, it is finally nighttime. Let's try to kill the Eye of Cthulhu. Where you at? And hit first. Alright. That's one boss down. Now with the Crimton Bars, I'm going to craft the Tendon Bow so that I can attack from an even further and safer distance. Let's make my way to the dungeon now to take on Skeltron. Alright, finally made it to the dungeon. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. No! Did that just happen? My mace did not reach the boss in time. Okay, made it back. Let's get out my bow. Three, two, one, shoot! There we go. Okay. That's fine. As long as I killed it. Now that I have access into the dungeon, there's only one item that I'm looking for. And that is not the cobalt shield, but the shadow key. Once I get my hands on the shadow key, I'll be heading down to hell to try to find the Hellwing Bow. 
I found the bewitching table, which means I'll be able to summon out two minions. Oh, and with the shadow key, I can also get my hands on the sun fury as well. Ooh, hold up. No, there was the blue moon. Okay, we're back. Make sure I don't die. Kill that dark caster. There we go. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Okay, thank God. So the blue moon is slightly bigger compared to the flaming mace, so it should protect me a little bit better. Plus, it has a longer reach. Let's go back and try to get the shadow key. There it is. Give me that. And let's get out of here. Let's head down to hell now. Okay, there's the Helling Bow. But it is almost impossible to get out of the chest. There just needs to be a little break where the enemies stop attacking. And then I should be good. Like right now. Get it, get it, get it. There we go. Okay. Okay, this is very unlikely, but... I'm gonna try to summon the Wall of Flesh. Let's throw in the Voodoo Doll. And start shooting. Okay, okay, we are in hard mode now. That actually worked out. Thankfully, there weren't too many monsters because they're all trapped on the left side over here. Now, hopefully I don't die. No! Okay, we're back. Go, go, go. There we go. Teleport! Okay. Let's open up the treasure bag. And we got the Clockwork Assault Rifle. Now that I'm in hard mode, usually people would break the altars to spawn in the hard mode ores, and then later on craft the mechanical boss summons. But because the spawn rate is so high, I'm gonna skip all of that. I'll be heading underground to kill hard mode monsters to gather the summons instead. I'm also gonna be farming the Black Recluse to be able to craft the full spider armor set. And that's going to allow me to summon even more minions. Okay, that should be more than enough spider fangs. Let's craft the armor. That is plus three to my minion slot. Then let's craft the queen spider staff and the spider staff. Okay, I see a mechanical skull. Just need the mechanical worm and eye now. Oh, there's the mechanical worm. Oh, I see the mechanical worm. It was hiding a bit. Okay, just the eye now. Oh my god, there it is. I almost threw that away. Ho oh. ho ho ho. Now let's go up to a sky island to kill some wyverns for their souls of flight to craft myself a pair of wings. Oh, and there's the giant harpy feather. And that's enough souls of flight. Now I can't craft wings just yet because I still need to defeat the brain of Cthulhu in order to craft a Deathbringer pickaxe. With it, then I'll be able to mine Hellstone for the Molten Pickaxe. And finally, with that, I can mine the Hard Mode Ores for the Mithril or Orichalcum Anvil. Okay, the Blood Moon has finally ended. And I did manage to get myself the Banana Rang, which is a pretty good weapon. So let's head over to the Crimson now to take on the Brain of Cthulhu. Alright, here we go. Where is it at? And you're done. Okay, for some reason, when I first summoned it, it was already at 50% health. Let's break the Crimson Altars now. So we got Cobalt, or Calcum, and Adamantite. Let's craft the Deathbringer Pickaxe now, and start mining some Hellstone. Okay, that should be enough Hellstone. I managed to mine 113. Let's craft the Molten Pickaxe now. And start mining the hard mode ores. Alright, that is enough cobalt. Onto the ore calcum. And that's enough ore calcum. Let's make the ore calcum anvil now. And finally, I can craft the harpy wings. Alright, I'm all set to take on the mechanical bosses now. Since I have three mechanical skulls, I'm gonna do Skeletron Prime first. Three, two, one. Hit the head first. Okay. Next up, the twins. Uh, one more. Perfect. And finally, the destroyer. Okay. 
I swear, the hardest part are just the regular monsters and not bosses. Okay, I'm just going to do Skill Charm Prime one more time. Just to make sure I have enough hollowed bars to craft both the full hollowed armor set and the pickaxe axe. Alright, let's craft the full hollowed armor set first. And for the helmet, I will be crafting the hollowed hood just so that I can get an additional minion slot. There we go. And then the pickaxe axe. And for the weapon, I think the Durendal is going to be really good. It has decent range, and whenever I do hit an enemy, the attack speed increases too. Let's head into the jungle now to try to find the Plantera Bulb. Oh, is that the Plantera Bulb? Yes, it is. Alright. I'm just going to break it right away. Here she comes. All done. Let's head inside the temple now to summon Golem. Okay, made it into the boss room. Don't think I need to clear any traps, because I'll just one-shot the boss anyways. Three, two, one. All done. Might as well use up the rest of the power cells. That's one, and that's two. Let's open up our treasure bags now and see what I can get. Staff of Earth. Heat Ray. Another Heat Ray. Last one. And another Staff of Earth. Let's head over to the dungeon now to take on the Lunatic Cultist. There we go! Kill it fast. There we go. All that's left are the Celestial Pillars. And finally, Moon Lord. Vortex Pillar has been destroyed. Oh my god! Oh, that was crazy! Stardust Pillar has been destroyed. Two more to go. With the Stardust Fragments, I'm going to craft the Stardust Dragon Staff. Oh my god. They just all come in one go. Maybe the pillar is done. Just one more. And there goes the last pillar. Let's get ready for Moon Lord. And for this final boss fight, I will be using the Heat Ray. Just because of its precision. I'm going to shoot the middle eye first, left, and then right. And then finally, the core. Hopefully I don't get hit. Here we go. And now. One, two, three, four. Woo! Let's go. All right, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. This was probably one of the hardest challenges I've ever done. Majority of the time I was dying, so I cut a lot of that out. Otherwise, the entire video would just be me dying over and over and over again. Anyways, if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like. Comment down below if you have any other mod or video ideas you want me to try out. And of course, subscribe to the channel. I'll also leave all the mods I've used in the description below if you guys want to try this out for yourselves. I don't recommend it though. But yeah, that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Peace.